Hi, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Visioneer cracking tool. Uh, so I pulled some ciphertext from online. This was some text from uh, Wikipedia and I encrypted it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and decrypt this without using a keyword. So this is going to be able to uh, construct the keyword based on frequency. Now we normally use frequency of the letters which E is the most common. Uh, in this tool, what we're going to do is look for the frequency of trigrams, which is uh, a group of three letters that show up the most often. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate the frequency. Now down here I have what we call the possible key size. So for example, if you take a look at FWV, uh, you'll see that the, it says spacing of 18. That means that in the ciphertext you see FWV and 18 spaces later you will also see that sequence again. So if you look up at the ciphertext and I'll go to the top you actually see that FWV is the first three letters of the ciphertext and if you look 18 spaces to the right we see FWV again. So the program looks for groups of three and finds out their spacing. Uh, so here are all the possible key sizes again and you want to find the one that shows up most often, one of these numbers here. Uh, and so you can have a key size of 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 20, at least that's what this is going to find. And we look for the column that has the most marks. Now when you scroll through this, hopefully you see which column has the most. It looks like the one right in the middle, right here. Uh, this one has the most marks. I think it even gets better down here. Yeah, we go on a string of marks here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and choose a key size of 9. So we go down here, choose 9. There we go. What it does is it pulls up, this is the frequency of the English language plain text. All right, not, not encrypted. So you can see how E shows up most often, and then uh, T, and then A. All right, so my guess is that the keyword is 9 letters long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the first letter. Now what happened is it went through the ciphertext and it looked for every nine letters, or every ninth letter starting with the first one, L1. And we're going to find this frequency of those letters because if the key size is nine, it means every nine letters is using the same uh, shift, using the same shift to encrypt it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frequency table and I'm going to rotate it until my frequency of the ciphertext matches this, the frequency of what the normal English language should be. And what you normally do is you look for the peak of 3. So like uh, if I, right here is a good one where I have the peak at the A, the E, and the K, I'm sorry, the I, which corresponds to C, G, and K. And you can see that the rest actually match up. So I'm good with C for my first letter. And I'm going to, again, shift. Uh, I can actually see the peak of 3 right here. So I'm going to move that over to the left and align that up with the A, E, and I peaks. And that looks right. We'll go ahead and do L3. And... I guess let's just shift left until we find something. Okay, that looks good. And you're going to keep doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it and show you what I get. Okay, so it looks like I have my keyword, code maker, and that seems to be a, a fine word. It's, it actually makes sense, so it's not gibberish. You can go ahead and take our cipher text here, and I'm going to go ahead and decrypt it using the Visioner decryptor. Uh, so I have a keyword of, what did I say, code maker, and here is our ciphertext, and I'm going to decrypt it, and we get discarded computers, disk drives, and media are also a potential source of plain text, blah, blah, blah. So there you go. We've cre we found the keyword using frequency analysis and decrypted our message.